Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Genesis if you're new and this is Wealthy on Purpose. In today's video, we are cash stuffing for week four of October. I'm really excited to get started, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. Um, I am going to start with my wallet and if you are new to my channel or if you've been here for a while, um, I just went on a week-long trip to Washington. Um, so I do have a rollover in these, but I'm going to keep it there just to make sure um, I don't take out money that I still need. So I'm going to keep the rollover in here. So let's just start off. Um, spending is going to get $10 for both me and Oscar. But for my $10, I'm going to put it in my savings challenge. I'm doing a mini savings challenge that is from Savings with Grace. So just $10 for Oscar. Gas is going to be getting $120. I will explain. I know this is a lot, but I just started a new job and I do have a commute. I do have to commute a little bit to get to work and I'm not really sure how much that'll be. So we're just stuffing to see like, you know, test the waters, but gas is going to get, uh, or it has 100, 120, 140, 160, and 165. I'm sure we won't even need half of this, but you can never be too sure. I just don't like not having enough money. For household, it's gonna go ahead and get $5. I am so happy to be back home, but I had so much fun on my trip. It definitely made me feel so much more grateful and gratitude for just my life and just everything that, you know, I'm blessed with. So it really helped me, you know, take a minute and step back. Groceries is gonna be getting $60. If you have been here for a while, then you also know I just started my first week of work. Um, I started a new job and you guys, it has been bliss. I am so happy to be in this new role. Miscellaneous is going to be getting a five. Um, this new role is very prepared. Like they have all the materials prepared for me. Um, I know who I'm training with. I know exactly what to do it's very organized and i've just had such a good time at my new job so if you were wondering i am loving it i am having a very good time i am decorating my cubicle currently and if you want to help support that um, i built a little registry mostly for my family because they wanted to help me decorate but i'll share it with you guys do not feel pressured to purchase from that registry at all but if you just want like inspo things for your own desk just search through that registry because i've been adding things so i'll leave that down in the description if you're just interested on in taking a peek and then sage and carol they will be getting 45 so sage and carol now have 20 40 65 and 70 and this is for their food they had such a good time at boarding i was really proud that they had a good report coming back they usually do but you know I'm a dog mom, so I I pay attention to like, you know, how they're behaving in these other spaces. So that wraps it up for my wallet and we're gonna go ahead and jump into my bills binder. Um, if you guys were curious, I will share some photos from the trip right here. So I'll put them on the screen. We had a blast, we did so many things um, and I can't wait to do it again. Uh, it was my first ever flight and it was so fun. Like I had, I was having like a lot of fun, so. Definitely, I was scared a little bit of flying. The turbulence was a little, you know, uncomfy. But for the most part, it was a really fun experience. For rent, I'm going to be putting 200 in prop bills. So rent now has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1,000, 1, 2, 3. So 1,300 in rent. And I do have a magic month. So we'll be stuffing this next week as well. Also, we are stuffing Mint Mobile. So my Mint Mobile bill is actually due next Friday. So this is the last time I'm stuffing it before our subscription comes up. So Mint Mobile now has 100, 200, 220, 40, 260, 280, 300, 310, 315, and 320. So this will be our payment for six months of service, um, which will be really nice because we save a ton of money. I also have a referral link if you guys were looking to sign up with Mint Mobile. I think you get some money off of your plan. I shared it with a subscriber before who was interested. So that wraps it up for my bill binder. Now we're going to move on to my month ahead fund. I did budget money for this. I usually use rollover, 
but since I didn't take any rollover, let's see what we can do. I budgeted $3, so let's see where we can put this. I'm trying to complete this internet challenge, and this challenge is from Budgeting with Chloe, by the way. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put it in this internet challenge because I'm really trying to complete it. So let's go ahead and take out the tracker. And we're going to color in three of these. I was just watching Budget with Lena. I love, love, love Lena's channel. And she was sharing about when she first got started with cash stuffing, how um, she was watching, I think, The Budgeting Mom. And she was saying like budgeting is about, you know, being in control of your money, especially when, un, you know, uncertain situations come up. And that is so important to me, like stability and a lot of things. Um, I'm going to share like a little bit about myself, if you guys don't mind. I'm used to, especially someone with like anxiety. I think I've shared this before, but I really suffer with anxiety and some other mental health um, issues. But I constantly feel like life has to be chaotic for it to feel normal because I kind of am used to chaos. I'm used to things going wrong, I guess. Um, so when I recently, this past year, I've been feeling very still, right? Very stable. And that freaked me out because I'm like, this isn't normal. This isn't how life is supposed to be. And I felt like I wasn't living a good life. But stability is so good for you guys. Like stability can mean joy and happiness and all these like, even love, like, you know, I've been with my partner for almost 10 years now. And there are days where it's just the same thing. We just do the same thing every day. And of course, we have times like the trip where we go on a week long trip and we're so in love and all this. And I'm always in love with him. But there are moments of stillness and that matters. And I feel like in your finances, too, like you can be saving towards a goal or whatever. But being still is so important. So Lena, you really inspired me and I just, yeah, I wanted to share that. And if you guys ever need anything in terms of like mental health or you also struggle, just know that I am with you. I, you know, have my own struggles and, you know, anxiety is only part of what I suffer with. And I do see a therapist regularly. I really believe in therapy. But yeah, so I just wanted to share that um, in case anyone was new to cash stuffing or was kind of wondering like, oh, should I still do this after so long? Like, yes, the stability will come in handy when you need it. So yeah, I thought I would share that on my heart. So internet now has $23. So we're about halfway, which is fan freaking tastic. <laughs> All right, so we're done in my month ahead binder and we are gonna go ahead and stuff my short-term sinking funds. I really miss talking to you guys. So if I'm a little chatty, you know why. <laughs> All right, so we are gonna skip on down to personal hygiene. And personal hygiene is going to get 15. So personal hygiene now has 100, 110, 120, 125, and 130. I also don't know if I have the right denominations because I was resting a little bit to the bank. So we'll see how well it works out. Um, shopping, I believe, is going to be getting five dollars. Kind of fill these empty envelopes. Home improvement will also be getting five dollars, and now it has 25. My question of the week is going to be about tipping in a restaurant setting. There are a lot of people who like don't believe in tipping, and I didn't know this was a thing. I've always tipped, I'm a tipper. I tip very generously because you know these service workers are so hard working they serve you very well and i feel like they should be tipped very well but i was like seeing this like i was in a restaurant and i saw this person they were just like um no tip no tip and i'm like dude like they just bought you all this food and all this stuff so what do you guys think about tipping like are you guys uh, the same as me like where you believe in tipping or what's your thoughts on tipping i know some people only tip in restaurants don't tip in coffee shops but i just feel like if someone provides you a service you should tip but maybe that's an unpopular opinion i don't know <laughs> but that's my question of the week how do you feel about tipping i have a little cairo here so if you hear some moving around it's just cairo all right now we're moving on into my long-term sinking funds which i'm so happy to be stuffing sinking funds again you guys know when i was unemployed i wasn't stuffing them at all because we just didn't have the extra money in our budget but now the flexibility is opening up a little bit more so i'm really excited 
Car tags is going to be getting 15. So here we go with the denomination. So we have 5, 10, and 15. So car tags now has 100, 150, 170, 180, 85, 90, 95, and 200. Yay! So I get to put a placeholder in here, and we're going to put $100 in my high yield savings account. That's so awesome. Birthday. This is for my birthday coming up in March. It's going to get a 5. So it now has 15. All right. Next, we are moving on into holidays. And holidays is going to be getting 25. And we get to color in a tree, which I'm very excited about. So we have 20 and 5. So let me get, let me see what color I need. Purple. The best color. That's my favorite color, purple. I love, love, love. I was never a pink girl. Like when my mom would buy me and my sister things, I would know it was mine because she would get me purple. <laughs> or because like my, that was like my color. Like, do you guys have that with your siblings where like each sibling has a color and your parents just like abide by it? <laughs> so my color was purple. My sister's color was blue. And my brother's colors are like, green and orange <laughs> so that is just interesting let me know if you guys have that with your siblings I grew up with colors anyways um holidays now has 500 600 700 720 40 60 75 and 780 we're so close we have one more row you guys Christmas is coming so fast I can't wait to take down my Halloween stuff and put in my Christmas tree no I'm just kidding <laughs> But start putting up little trees here and there. All right. And that is it for this binder. All right. And we are actually going to stuff my savings challenge binder just a little bit today. Um, but I see already that I'm going to need to make change. So let's see if I have some. All right. So... I'm currently doing this challenge from Savings with Grace. So I'm just gonna swap this these two tens for this 20, because I need some tens. Um, and then we're also putting 10 in here, and this is from my spending money. So let's go ahead and give this a highlight. And we are gonna color in the eight. I just overstuffed it, but it's okay. It's always nice to have more money than less. So the Treat Yourself Challenge has $20, $35, and $40. Ooh, I'm almost done with this. Because I told myself I wanted to save this, and then I can start spending money again. <laughs> and then we are stuffing investments again. I haven't stuffed investments in like two months, but I usually do $10 a week. So we are stuffing this last 10 in investments. And that is going to wrap it up for today's video. But I do want to share with you guys something really, really special to me. So please stick around for this portion. I hope it's not been too dark in the video. But this challenge was made by Haley Rain, you guys. I'm going to put her channel right here, what it looks like, um, her thumbnails, everything. Haley has been one of my biggest friends in this community. Not even supporter, like a friend, a true friend. Um, and she has freebies on her channel. She just reached 200 subscribers, you guys. And these freebies are so cute. So please go check out her channel. She has been so brave to come on YouTube, talk about her journey. And I'm so, so proud of her. And Haley, if you're watching, I know that you are. I am so proud of you, girl. Each budgeting like person, um, I just want to hug you so tight because this is such a journey, right? Like, you guys have seen me grow. I've seen you guys grow. Um, and when you guys create channels, I'm able to like interact with you weekly and, you know, see your journey. And it's just so special. And she reached out to me um, specifically on my email, letting me know that she was making a channel. So please, please, please go subscribe to her. Um, let her know I sent you um, because I just want the outpour of love for her. She has been such a supporter, not just on my channel, but on a lot of budgeting channels. Um, and yeah, I just, I love this girl. So girl, you are doing fantastic. So proud of you. So thankful to have you a part of our community. You make us better. Um, and I just, I wish you the best. So I will be starting this um, next week or whenever I get my first 
check. Um, I'll be starting this and it says patience with my growth. And so it's a sunflower. I think it's so cute and you guys know I love to color. So this is going to be perfect for me. But yeah, so go ahead and leave a heart down below. Go check out Haley Rain. Give her a follow and let her know I sent you. Um, but without further ado, you guys, I just wanted to let you know I've missed you. I'm happy to be back. Um, the upload schedule will still be the same. I'll still be posting on Tuesdays. So stay tuned for those videos. Um, I meant to do a community post. I don't know what happened. Maybe I just didn't have reception. I'm not sure. Um, but I will share some photos and all that. So thank you guys. I wish you nothing but the best. And I will see you in the next one. All right, babe. Stay well. Bye.